Valentino Garavani, a 91-year-old iconic couturier, is admired worldwide for his deluxe creations and breathtaking red carpet gowns. When he was a teenager, his talent for drawing came to light. After his departure to Paris in 1950 at 17, Valentino became a famed figure in the fashion world. In 1962, the Italian fashion designer showed a couture collection in Florence, which became his breakthrough. He has gained numerous fans and friends among celebrities, and even royals such as Princess Madeline of Sweden, 2013, address Valentino for bridal dresses. V is not for vendetta, V means Valentino. One of the top designers in Italian haute couture, Valentino Garavani, was called the Chic of Chic in an interview with Vanity Fair magazine in 2004. His name is associated with impeccable taste and a luxurious lifestyle. It's certain that if I hadn't become a couturier, I'd have been an interior designer, said Valentino. We bet he would earn fame in this industry too. I've always been obsessed by beauty in all its forms. You start by accident with a piece of furniture, an object, or a picture, and around it a universe gradually evolves. If you have taste, you can mix it all together. What makes Valentino's personal universe? Crystal chandeliers, sumptuous tableware, glitzy artworks, and porcelain. His extravagance leaves an imprint on every place he lives or works in. Want to immerse in the mere aesthetics of Valentino's numerous houses? We've prepared a real feast for your eyes. For an appetizer, let's start with the portion of picturesque photos of his Rome villa near the Appian Way, which turned people's heads in the April Vogue issue of 1970. Valentino's Appian Way home boasts a swimming pool, a pavilion, and a library with a small terrace adorned with a Botero painting. In the light living room hangs a colorful artwork by Dorazio. The living room is whimsically decorated with an indoor tent. The salon room features a white fireplace in the shape of a pyramid. The red dining room is a special place for the designer who modestly said, I don't like self-absorbed pleasures, though maybe it's extremely egotistical to enjoy sharing things with others. I like entertaining small groups. Laying a table is a voluptuous exercise. I prefer floral themes, and I match the settings to the seasons. I'm always quite willing to go to other people's large parties, but in my own house, I wouldn't be able to face the upheaval they bring in their wake. I'm an incurable obsessive. Look at this silver fish and fruit sculpture topping the glass dining room table. Valentino won't treat his guests using cheap stuff, I love antique china sets like Meissen or from P.K. Silesia, a German company from the 1930s. Entertaining 30 or 1 is the same, the food has to be on a beautiful plate, Valentino says in his book At the Emperor's Table, published in 2014. Except for the red dining room, there is also a small one with a green and white striped tent. Imagine you lost your way in Rome and occasionally stumbled upon Valentino's Appian Way residence. It was late, and the host greeted you in his home. You'd probably spend the night in this cozy guest bedroom. How do you find it? Valentino cares for his guests. He even designed the red print in the bedroom. Another bedroom with a four-post twisted bamboo bed and an Indian bedspread was decorated by an Italian interior designer, Stefano Mantovani. And a cherry on top is Valentino's bathroom. Leopard skin rugs in the bathroom mere splendor. It is one of many properties Valentino Garavani owns in Italy. In 2019, together with his business and life partner Giancarlo Giametti, he put on sale their 12 million euros villa in Setano, the Tuscan village. Reportedly, they bought the historic 1700s estate in 1986 and owned it for over 30 years. The luxurious villa boasts everything for a comfortable life, a swimming pool, outdoor amphitheater, 15 bedrooms with sophisticated Italianate gardens, marble floors, and fireplaces. The couple used the Tuscan estate as a hideaway when running the fashion house in Rome. According to the real estate agent Riccardo Romolini in the South China Morning Post interview, they would escape here from Rome's frenetic lifestyle. It's their retreat where they could find peace, silence and relax, and occasionally hold fashion events and parties. 
The 27-acre property faced the sunny main piazza with cafes and restaurants. The impeccably maintained garden framing the villa featured a jogging track and underground tunnels with an ancient tomb aged in the 7th century BC. As the house was built in the 1750s, it required occasional renovations, which Renzo Mongiardino, a famous Italian architect, performed in the 1980s. The interior featured floral upholstery, rich fabrics, layered patterns, and an outstanding collection of antiques and art. As we can see, Valentino's style improved with age. Lucky news for those who want and have enough budget to experience his luxurious lifestyle. At the beginning of 2024, a luxury travel company, Inspirato, specializing in exquisite vacation rentals, announced his palazzo in Rome for rent. This 600-year-old historic estate was Valentino's former residence. Outdoors, you'll find a cozy living space with a kitchen and grill, and on the roof, there is a terrace with a hot tub and magnificent Rome views. The penthouse is a perfect spot for companies or families. There are three bedrooms with separate bathrooms. If you like timber ceilings, stone floors, and high-end kitchen appliances, you can become another king of chic. The price of the booking depends on the date and length of stay. For instance, a seven-night reservation in March costs $2,379 per night. As we're wiping away tears of sorrow, let's move to the main course, Valentino's crown residence outside Paris, the Chateau de Huitville. This historic estate is Valentino's favorite. The designer frequently invites guests there. I love sharing the things in my life with my friends. He sets the table under the garden gazebo, exposing beautiful porcelain dinner plates with separate silver gilt salt thrones. This is an average casual lunch, yet still exuding the odor of taste and luxury. One more reason to befriend Valentino, right? A fashion editor, Andre Leon Talley, once wrote in his book that Valentino Garavani designs his luncheons and dinners in all of his homes the way he has created crescendos and allegros vivaches throughout his 40-plus year career as one of the greatest haute couture designers and high fashion leaders in the world. We totally agree. Look at these figural silver salt cellars, Chinese Qianlong period plates, and embroidered indigo napkins with an iconic VG monogram in his London house. This orientalist dining room is styled with blue and white china. If you are still not convinced that Valentino would have become a great designer, let's move to his Swiss ski chalet in Gstaad, one of his oldest estates. He usually spends Christmas and New Year with a group of close friends there. This alpine house offers all the conditions for a lovely winter season, including fantastic mountain views and spectacular skiing. Have you noticed that Valentino uses specific table settings and recipes for each of his houses? In his chalet in Gustad, he prefers Portuguese porcelain and his favorite 19th century Meissen swans. Another typical table setting in Gustad is this large porcelain lettuce-shaped tureen from the late 18th century and a German faience tureen in the form of an asparagus. Celebrating Christmas in this cozy dining room, surrounded by exquisite faience, tureens, decorated pottery, and Irving Penn photographs should be unforgettable. All these attributes of opulent life breathe with the atmosphere of the old lady Europe. However, the respected Italian fashion designer also owned a luxury apartment on Fifth Avenue in New York. Together with Giancarlo Giametti, the president of the Valentino Fashion House, they bought it for $7.5 million in August 2007. Nearly four years later, the couple sold it for $11 million. The interior is somewhat different from the previously described. Free-spirited New York obviously made its adjustments. Their elegant flat was compact with only two bedrooms, silk wallpapers, and two bathrooms. Valentino paid attention to every detail. The large windows faced New York skyscrapers and adorable Central Park, so he used no tents, just decorative curtains. For dessert, we prepared a 152-foot Valentino's yacht, named after his parents, Teresa and Mauro. Who said a place without a lawn and fence can't be a home? 
The designer doesn't give up on his aesthetic likings even in open waters. The same porcelain dinner settings and striped Ralph Lauren crystal tumblers create the atmosphere of marine chic. Alas, our moment of splendor is coming to an end. We hope you enjoyed the sumptuous photos and got some insights into your apartment design. Do you think Valentino's artistic signature is reflected in his home's interiors? Which residents do you like the most? Please comment on your thoughts below this video.